Okay, they're really asking two questions here. They're saying, what must you know to prove the triangles congruent by first by angle side angle? Then we'll do it by side angle side. So angle side angle means that we would have to have, okay, if we're talking about an angle, which we have this, and then that's the that's the shared side that's reflexively congruent to itself. Since that, that has to be the included side, it would have to be angle side angle. And we would need to know that this angle, ACD, is congruent to this angle, um, CAB. So that one would be that one, ACD and CAB. And all of those, A, B, and D, have that indicated correctly. It's not going to be C. Um, and we named those with the proper vertices. Um, OK. Now, what's the second part? By side, angle, side. So let's take a look at it. If we knew this side, and that's the angle, well, since side, angle, side needs it to be the included angle, then we're talking about it. We need side AD to be congruent to side CB. AD, CB, no good. What that, what that one was, was that that is congruent to that, and that's not helpful to us because that wouldn't make the angle that we know the included angle, okay? Um, B, A, D is congruent to B, C. I believe that is the right choice. Now, I know that that works, so I just want to check D. We always want to just check the other answers to make sure that we didn't somehow find two answers that agree, and then maybe one of them is we misunderstood and got it wrong. So AD is congruent to AC. Nope, definitely not going to be that one. Um, those are, that, that shared side is reflexively congruent to itself. Um, and anyway, we already knew that, so we wouldn't have congruence through side angle side if we knew that, and then we only knew that again. This triangle on the right wouldn't have enough information. So it's not D either, it is B.